Now let's take this. Uh, how many words can be formed out of the letters of the word article so that vowels occupy even places? Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, 7 letters are there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now we have uh, 1, 2, 3 even places, right? And we have how many articles? That is A, I and E, right? A, I and E. And the remaining are R, T, C and L, right? So these four are consonant and these three are walls, right? Now we have to arrange the walls on second, four and six position, right? So we have three positions only and we have to arrange the three uh, letters only. So three letters, three positions can be arranged in three factorial ways, right? Now we have to arrange the consonants on the remaining four positions. So four positions, four letters, they can be arranged in four factorial ways, right? So it's six into 24, so it's 144 ways are there, right? Now, uh, this question, how many words with or without dictionary meaning can be made from the letters in the word, from the word Monday, uh, we have six letters over here, assuming that no letters is repeated. Uh, see, we have to uh, make six letters word only. Now, further we have, uh, see, now in the first case, we have to use four letters, right? And we don't want any repetition. Now, it's a good problem. Let's do it. Now, in the first case, we have to use four letters, right? Now, how many letters we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, from these six, first of all, we need to select the four letters. So, six C4. That means from six, we are selecting four. Now, this is what we have made the selection. Now, these four selected uh, letters can be arranged in four factorial ways. So, in all, this will be the answer to this problem, right? So, six C4 is what? Six C2 into 24 now what 62 is 6 into 5 by 2 into 24 so it's this 5 6 are 30 into 12 360 right so when we are choosing four letters we are uh, making 6 c4 four letters are selected from 6 so 6 c4 and the selected four letters are arranged in four factorial ways right now, all the letters are used at a time. That means six places are there and six letters are there. So, it's six factorial as simple as that. Now, all the letters are used but the first word is a vowel. Now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Now, how many vowels are there? It's O and A, right? Two vowels are there, O and A. Remaining are M, N, D and Y. Now, according to condition, the first letter should be a vowel. Now, we have first place and we have two choices that either O or E can come, right? So, for the first place, we have two choices, right? Now, first place is filled up. Now, we are left with five letters and five places, right? So, five letters and five places, the numbers of arrangements will be five factorial, right? So, it is two into five factorial. We can say two into 120, that is 240 ways will be there right so all the letters are used but the first is vowel so for the first place we have two choices right and we have filled up one now we are left with the five places and five letters so these can be arranged in five factorial ways right so 2 into 120 240 ways will be there right i'm sure you are clear now now friends uh, let's take this problem here you can see uh, arrangement of words is there but we have repetitions also right so this a one two three times this a is coming right so we have to make the different words using all the letters of word haryana right so it's h a r y a n a right now friends if the letters are repeated then obviously the number of different words will be less right how do i ensure that right suppose i take um, maybe a small uh, example suppose i have the letters a a and b right these three letters are there with me and i have to rearrange them in various ways right 
so how do i do that say this a a and b the next arrangement will be a b a right and the third arrangement will be b a a right now i don't have more arrangements because these two a's are identical right so what what is the concept over here suppose i have a b c then what how many ways will be there a b c a c b b a c b c a c a b and c p a right so in this case i have six arrangement but in this case i have just three arrangement why because two letters are same right so if we have n uh, places and n objects to arrange so there will be n factorial ways but we have to divide by the repetition right in this case two letters are repeated so i would divide by two factorial right so for this case n is 3 so 3 factorial by 2 factorial that is 3 into 2 by 2 so three ways i'll be getting to arrange these three letters when these two letters are repeated right since there is no repetition we'll be getting three factorial ways over here right so if we have the repetition of the letters we have to divide the total number of arrangements by the repetition right so suppose uh, if we talk about Haryana, A, A and A, the three letters are repeated. So we have unique letters. How many unique letters we have? 1, 2, 3, 4 and this A is 5, right? So what we do? Uh, first of all, V, 3 and 3, 6, 7 factorial ways will be there. Uh, since we have to fill up the 7 places with these 7 letters but since a is repeated we need to divide it by 3 factorial now a is being repeated for 3 times so I'll divide it by uh, this expression by 3 factorial right so 7 factorial by 3 factorial these are the number of ways when the different letters or all the letters of word Haryana can be arranged right So for the first case, our answer is 7 factorial by 3 factorial. Now let's take the second case. Now, in this case, how many of these begin with H and end with N, right? Now I have 7 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. For the first place, H is fixed. For the last place, N is fixed, right? So we are, uh, here we have just one choice. Here we have just one choice. Now, now we have five places and we have to fill up five uh, letters, right? And the remaining letters are I just cancel H and cancel N, right? So remaining letters are one, two, three, four, five, right? So five places, five letters, they can be arranged in five factorial ways, obviously. And we will divide by the repetition, repetition that is A is being repeated for three times. So 3 factorial we will divide, right? So 5 factorial is what? 120 and this is 6. So it's 20 ways, right? So 20 ways will be there when the word uh, words uh, begin with H and ends with uh, words end with N, right? So this is also clear. This is 20 ways. Now let's take the third one. Now in this case, in how many of these H and N are together, right? I just write H and N together and the remaining are A, R, Y, A, N, A, right? I just take, uh, treat them as one single letter. Now this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six letters to be arranged in six factorial ways. The second thing is we have to divide by the repetition that is three factorial. Then we want H and N together, right? So H and N can be rearranged among themselves in two factorial ways. Do not forget this two factorial, otherwise your answer will be wrong, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six factorial ways are there and we divided by the repetition that is three factorial. Then H and N can be mutually arranged in two factorial ways. So in all, this is the answer. So 720, by 6 into 2 right so your answer will be 240 right uh, friends we have done a good number of problems in this session and uh, we'll be taking more problems in our coming sessions okay so do revise this session so you'll feel comfortable in the next session see you bye bye